Welcome to another episode of My Point 3 Garage. Today we're going to be doing a very cheap lighting upgrade to our garage that I think you're going to like. So I've been through several different types of lighting in this garage and you may not be able to see it from this camera angle but I've got two bays over on this side and then I've got one long bay over on this side. I do most of my work over in this bay, but I'm getting ready to change that. I'm gonna be working more on this side and towards the back over here. And as you can see, I've got a dark spot over here due to all these kayaks that are on the ceiling. And I've had lights rigged up here, but they get in the way, especially when I have the doors up uh, during the summer. So I needed a different type of light that I could put in here that would give me generally more light. And the, the lights on the ceiling, the long bar lights, those are Barina lights, which I'll link down below that I've had for quite some time and I really like them. You're gonna notice that I've got one right over here that's out, that is not a Barina. I think those lasted six months. These Barinas have lasted longer than a year and they actually come with a three year warranty on them. But I'll link that down in the description. What I'm talking about is replacing this center light. I've got two main lights in the garage before I put in this other ceiling lighting. That's the only light that I had. I've got some fluorescence in there right now uh, and they're actually the wrong color fluorescent as well. Uh, but that's what I had at the time and I'm just not getting the light production that I need out of it. So I thought I would go to Amazon and I would just uh, grab the cheapest multi-panel LED light, 150 watt that I could find, just to give it a try and see what it did for the garage. So let's test that out now. Let me show you what it is. So for $50, this was the cheapest pair of 150 watt, five panel LED single bulb replacements that I could find. They also had very good reviews and they were free prime shipping. So for 50 bucks, this seems to me like I'm probably going to get a significant light output on these. With this one, when you look at these LED lights, you'll notice that some of them don't have a center light. They just have the panel lights. Uh, some of them have the center lights and the panel lights. I chose to have the center and the panel because where my light is actually located is directly over one of my workplaces. So this would actually give me a spot directly over that. Same on the other one. It, it would be in a, in a really opportune spot to have one of those there. So let's put these in and test them out and see what we get. Now I'm going to do multiple angles in the garage so you can see what I'm talking about. But this angle back, this is really dark. And then if I put the camera over here facing the direction that I normally film, it looks a little bit brighter because I concentrated my light over on this side. So I'm going to do two different views and you can see what these lights do to see if it'll make a big enough difference in your garage. Garage door view before the light change. Uh, we'll call this uh, from garage door view before the light change. Wow, <laughs> holy crap. All right, I can already tell you it's brighter. But these panels also will flex down and up. The goal of these flex panels was to light up the corners of the garage that I was having a problem with in the first place. So kind of like that right there. Here's the view with the new lights in. And I can already tell a huge difference just in the workable lights. These are 6,500 Kelvin. Uh, which is the same as the bar lights that I'm using from Barina. So now I think the light matches. I can tell by looking at these bikes that I can actually see things that I was using a headlamp to look at before. So even though it's not the complete solution, meaning I still am going to put the Barinas basically all through here and all along this side right here so that uh, it lights up the entire garage, the singles that I have in there right there. I can actually bend those down to get spotlights on certain parts and certain vehicles in the garage. Uh, I've already tried it with a couple of vehicles and it works great. And then also on this side with the Broncos, uh, I can get more light inside the tub for wiring purposes. So, and then here's the from the outside of the garage in as well. And I can definitely tell there's quite a bit more light. So that is a win there. I am extremely happy with this. $50, three year warranty, uh, or 50,000 hours of use. And uh, I think that was a no brainer. 
Those will be in the links below, and I'll also have the, the Barina lights that I'm using up top, which are basically linkable LED lights as well. Super happy with those as well. And also check out the end screen where I have my other garage dream build videos. I haven't gotten it exactly where I want it, but it's getting close. You can see the brick walls, you can see pallet wood wall over here in the videos, plus the cabinetry that we put in. That's a wrap for my point through garage. Please hit the like button if you like this video and share it with your friends.